started coming to the Balearic Islands uh, for, for work. The yachts, uh, they used to stop here. And um, so there was a first approach. And after that, as I say, it's, uh, I start to like it more and more. And, uh, and I decided to, you know, to keep it as a base. The marine industry and all the supports and all that kind of things were very, very good at that stage already. So it was a very good place to get work done on the yacht and at the same time have a bit of a, you know, free time and, uh, you know, get away from the yacht and, uh, and do other things. Spain is a Mediterranean uh, culture, so there's a lot of things that, for me, they uh, remind me of home and I relate a lot to them and the language is rather easy, so there was a few combination of, uh, of, uh, of things and, and the island has a lot to offer. The most uh, rewarding part of my job is uh, it's, uh, the satisfaction I get after a good charter, uh, people walking off the boat uh, happy, um, having a good, uh, a good team, um, having a good relation with the, with the crew, make everybody comfortable and happy. It's for me, is the biggest uh, reward. Mallorca, I would say, uh, surprising, just because after so many years here, I, every time I do a new activity or something on the different part of the island, you always discover something that is, uh, you didn't know about. So considering the small island, uh, it's, it's still uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of things to, do, to discover, and so I always get surprised. Ibiza, uh, but it's fun, uh, the party island. Menorca is, um, for me, is the natural island. is um, is um, is very nice. It's usually, you know, a very very good atmosphere on Menorca. For Mentera, I found it uh, relaxing because it's. Uh, Let's say there's not so much to do on land, so it's a really a place that you can uh, kind of chill out and relax and uh, enjoy the, the natural beauty of, uh, of the island. When I start, moved here, I, I was into uh, rock climbing, but there was a few kilos ago. <laughs> now I do mainly uh, canyoning. The, the island has a, an incredible uh, set of canyons that, of course, because of the geography, they, sometimes you enjoy them with water, sometimes they're dry. And the other big activity I do is uh, trail running. They've been doing that for many years. And it's pretty much uh, running you know, up and down the mountains. Uh, and just uh, again, it's, uh, it's a very good way to, uh, you know, to see all the, the hills around here and all, and all that. In summer or on a very nice uh, winter, uh, winter day, I, I like to kayak. And Mallorca, with the you know water temperature in the winter and the conditions usually here, it's very easy to go and play in the water also during the winter. It's absolutely a uh, year-round activity. Um, so those are mainly my uh, hiking on Sundays. Also, uh, it's another one. Um, I join a couple of groups. We go just hiking uh, up in the hills. Must be a strange. Uh, just because it's, uh, it's still pretty wild, they, there's no buildings behind the beach, they kept it very natural, it's protected, it's a long stretch of beach so you can have you know, a bit uh, of, of everything, you can stay away from people, even in the summer, I'm not here much in the summer of course, but even in the summer you can still walk a little longer than, than anybody else and you still find a really good uh, you know, relaxing spot. The water in front of it is very shallow, so it's a truly Caribbean style uh, place and it's, uh, it's easy to reach and it's, it's very, uh, for me, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a truly a beauty of nature. The future of the yachting industry in, in the Balearics is uh, it's promising. Uh, there's been, I've been here about 20 years now and on and off uh, and always related to yachts. And uh, I think it's, uh, it will grow, um, but I, 
I strongly believe that if it's going to grow too much, it's going to definitely uh, go um, over the top. And the whole situation that is, is such a you know, good situation at the moment, it might, it might change and it turn into, I don't know, something not so pleasant uh, for, for certain uh, size yachts uh, to, uh, to come back to. But in general, I, uh, I believe that is, uh, it's, it's going to be a combination of the private enterprises and the government to make sure that they don't, um, they don't run it you know, uh, off track and just they keep it as a good environment, comfortable for the yachts, comfortable for the uh, companies that they work on the island and just try to have a good communication and make sure they don't uh, overdo it. So the advantages of the, uh, of the Balearic Islands are, are several. Well, the, the, the one that is, is very important is the fact that the islands are not too far from the mainland and they're very well connected. And also it's a, it's a community where you have a, an amazing cruising ground for summer cruising. The infrastructure for uh, winter uh, repairs and uh, shipyard periods, it's incredibly good. You have a really lovely town to live. There. It's a, it's a year-round town with uh, all year-round activities. And of course, uh, the, the island. Uh, I mean, Mallorca is a, is a main hub uh, where it's really uh, offer, you know, great uh, activities, cultural activities, uh, gastronomical, natural, so it's a, it's a, the great advantage of this place is that you have pretty much everything in a very small environment and very easy to reach. I believe technology did uh, change the way we work. Um, of course, uh, I have to say, uh, it, on one side uh, to the best, it just simplify incredibly uh, anything from uh, navigation, communication, uh, uh, on the other side, as a, as a sailor, you always kind of uh, remain a bit attached to, you know, to the old ways, just because this is a trade, that, you know, it's a very traditional trade. The evolution of yachting and the new owners, everything now moves incredibly fast. Technology just speed up the whole process on land, owners, management and crew. Now we're just getting, you know, just following up on, on the technology and the expectations are very high. So, you know, the technology definitely um, help us to keep up with the demand. I think the, the Balearic ports in general are very well structured. Um, they are usually pretty much, you know, up to date. And comparing to, let's say, other Mediterranean ports, uh, I think they are pretty uh, up uh, in the in the service uh, standards. Mm -hmm.